welcome back to another episode of In the Field with Sarge. We're going to be doing another review on, in the same realm of camping on a budget. Um, this was found at Walmart.com and it's called a stainless steel mesh burner. And basically what it is is an above the ground fire pit that uses a steel screen on the bottom. It's all made out of stainless steel. Um, it is made in China. Um, the upper mesh is made of uh, 304 stainless steel, uh, which has a strong heat resistance, and it's not easy to corrosion. Um, also, it says, because of the English-Chinese translation, it also says, don't worry about it, we'll break. It says, don't worry about it, we'll break. With an exclamation point. So, uh, I'm sure they meant, don't worry about it, it will not break. Uh, the uh, holes in the net are very, very fine, so only burnt ash will fall, no lit embers. Um, and uh, this can take more than five kilograms of wood on top of it. Um, and it's basically a very cheap above the ground uh, fire pit. And for some folks where making a ground fire is impossible or dangerous, uh, this is a nice alternative. Uh, there are some YouTubers that use them. Uh, I'm not too keen on them for a couple of reasons, but uh, I think with this one we'll be able to overcome that. And that's on the grounds of uh, spark arresting uh, screen mesh covering and uh, possibly the, uh, the ability to cook on it. Um, and I think I've overcome that and I'll talk about that later on in the video. But before I get it out and get it all set up, um, I do want to remind everyone to go back to the previous video that I put up. Um, and there is a giveaway. All you have to do is watch the video, like, subscribe, and then in the comments to that video, uh, put in the, the term, I'm in. And uh, around the first week of next month, we'll go ahead and we'll do the drawing. And you can possibly win uh, a 26-piece Ozark Trail cooking utensil set. Um, just like I did the review on in that video. Alright? So with that, let me get some stuff moved out of the way. And we'll go ahead and we'll get this guy out of the box. And we'll show you what it looks like all set up. All right, and we're back real quick. I just want to get it out of the box. It does uh, have the instructions on the box itself, but the whole thing comes in a really nice leather, uh, leather, nylon carrying bag, excuse me. Um, and it's pretty compact. Doesn't weigh, I'll have to put it on the scale. My guess would be about a pound. Um, Lots of pieces in there, I hear it. So let me go ahead and move this uh, log out of the way and we'll go ahead and get it set up. Wow, that's pretty big. Oop. Pull the rubber foot off of that one. pretty light. My concern is if these 
female ends should happen to get dinged up or bent up, how difficult is it to get in there? But I guess since they're made out of stainless, they won't be that much of a problem. Did I do that right? No, I did not. You go down here. Right. All right. I'm trying to get these in a little better position. This one is a little bent already, I see. Ah, just a little twist and it goes right in. This one too goes right in. And then the final one, I think. All right. It's pretty big. So now I assume that these go in the pipe, and they do, so let me get them in the pipe. Let's see how easy that is. Okay, there's one. I might have to get my thermosel out. I'm getting dive bombed by flies. All right. That's it, right there. Let's get it into a safe spot and we'll get a fire going in it. All right. Let me get a lighter going here. We'll use our handy dandy it's good in the woods fire starter. Now what I think is great about this is A, it's up off the ground. So in the winter time you can get more heat disbursement like that. But what I'm thinking about doing is taking some quarter inch heavy mesh screening and maybe making a box to go over the top of it. And since it's quarter inch, it fits the uh, Department of Wildlife's uh, requirement on spark arresters for fires. Uh, it's quarter inch. It's heavy gauge. So once it sits on here, I'll be able to put a cook pot right on top. And I think that's where this will make this a whole lot nicer. Of course, you wouldn't be able to take that with you if you were just trying to load up in a pack. Um, you know, of course, the, uh, the extra bulk of that. But there you go. And since it has the screen on the bottom, it's got great airflow. Um, and uh, I think this is pretty nifty. For $20, you can't beat it. And for those of you who don't want to dig a fire pit or have a disability where you can't get on your hands and knees or actually dig something like that this is perfect for it the only residue you'll have of course is ash um, it is hot enough I can feel it kicking out some heat right now and we'll just let that burn and see how that screen does once this whole thing gets really hot
the amount of heat that's coming off of this is incredible because now you're getting a total 360 degree uh, radiancy of the heat and since it's above the ground oh my goodness it's incredible Because it's, because it's elevated, you really don't need to put big honking pieces of wood up there. I mean, this thing is radiating so much heat right now, it's unbelievable. And uh, I think with that screen that I'm talking about, um, you'd be able to cook on it. You know, of course, you could put a tripod up over the top of it as well. Um, you know, many options here. Getting just a little bit of smoke, but I, I attribute that to the wood um, because it definitely has enough airflow here. Burns fast. Burns quite nicely, leaves very little ash. And as you see, nothing is falling through the bottom. Let me see what the heat is like under there. It's got to be pretty hot. Oh yeah, I can definitely feel the heat radiating out. Pipes aren't that hot. They are hot, but not that hot. And it's definitely kicking out a lot of heat. I'm just going to let this go ahead and burn out and then we'll see what it looks like and if it dropped any debris or if it kicked any sparks out um, and we'll go from there. We'll be right back. Alright, so we've been burning for about an hour and as you can tell this has burned down to nothing. Uh, the ashes are very fine and on the ground there is a very, very fine, fine layer of white ash. But uh, it does seem to burn very well. This, the uh, screen didn't stretch at all, so uh, I kind of like it. And like I said, with a few modifications, you'd be able to cook on it and have a spark arrester as well if you have wood that likes to spit and spark. Um, what I used today was willow, and it usually spits and sparks, but I guess at this small of a diameter it won't. But uh, that's pretty good. So there you have it, camping on a budget, fire pit for 20 bucks.